everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel I'm Nia G um, today's video today's video is going to be all about Javi coffee um, they sent me their coffee about two weeks ago and every day and every day since I have been drinking it and I'm absolutely in love I wanted to make sure I had enough time so I could tell you guys my honest so I wanted to make sure I had enough time to try it and come up with my honest opinions of it. And I can honestly say that I absolutely love their microdose coffee, which I'm going to tell you all about. Here it is. But make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Give me a thumbs up and let me know down below in the comments if you have tried, want to try, or will try this coffee what are your thoughts on coffee i'm a coffee lover and also also let me know your favorite fall drink because i'm going to be sharing mine towards the end now let's get straight into the video first things first javi coffee is ethically so javi ethically sources their coffee beans they walk they work with small local farmers to find their coffee beans their coffee beans are artisan roasted so you can get the full effect of the coffee and it removes the you know the harsh coffee smell it's all gone so once the coffee is process it is turned into an extract which is what we have here which is this is a coffee concentrate so it's not the coffee beans the coffee grinds it is made into a liquid so this is six ounces which has 30 servings you guys can see if you guys look closely I've been drinking a thing and a little bit goes a long way honestly and it doesn't it has a really good coffee smell like you can tell that this is a high-end made coffee product like it doesn't have that annoying smell that'll that'll give you a headache it smells so good um the coffee they sent me a cute little pouch that had um a reusable metal straw and a, two reusable metal straws and one of the cleaners to clean out the straws because you know it can be so hard to make sure that your reusable straws are clean and if you don't clean them you can literally die of bacteria overgrowth so you need to make sure that they're clean so I'm so happy that they sent that I'm so excited I love that it's ethically made and they obviously care about the planet because the reusable tools as well as the packaging that they sent it in it was a canvas little bag with their logo on it so cute this coffee is so strong when I drink this coffee it makes me feel super energized and awake um, sometimes I'll either use this as a midday pick-me-up or to get my morning started if I have so many if I have so many things to do I'm gonna read to you guys the directions it says take one to two teaspoons of microdose and mix it with your favorite liquid coffee for a perfect cup of coffee and it is suggested that you start with one t one teaspoon per six ounces of liquid so my first time trying it I did make sure I started with the six ounce and I kind of had it midday so it made me feel really refreshed i also love that with this coffee concentrate it is so multi-dimensional because you can use this to flavor your desserts you can use this in iced coffee which i have done and you can also use it in a hot coffee and it's so easy to use if you don't have a keurig or an other another traditional type of coffee maker you should definitely try this out and it's really easy for on the go although it needs to be refrigerated say you're in a rush just put this coffee in your bag carry it with you put it in whatever you need to drink absolutely perfect which is something that i really love about it it's super convenient you guys can get it in sets and packs and it will be linked down below so you guys can get them either by the threes you can either you can also sign up for a monthly subscription and you guys get 15% off when you guys use my link so you guys can get 15% off once you use the link that I will be attaching down below the link is automatically applied at checkout and the link is an affiliate link so I will make a small commission but you still get that 15% off so come on it's a one-win situation now now let's get into my favorite coffee recipe. so good morning everyone so i'm about to make my morning coffee 
I'm going to show you guys the proper way to do it. So what you're supposed to do is take one to two teaspoons of microdose. It depends on how strong you want it. It's supposed to be one teaspoon to per six ounces. So this is an eight ounce glass that I have from Amazon. It's so cute. It's literally heart shaped. So I have it here and I'm going to do it the proper way. You know, once you get more comfortable with making the coffee, I'm not going to lie, you probably just eyeball it and make it without measurement. I do have a teaspoon measurer here and I'm going to pour it out. And it's literally just this black liquid. It looks so gooey, but it smells so good. And it's not a lot at all, like, but I definitely put it in first because I'm obviously going to mix the entire thing. So let me show you guys that. So here it is in the bottom. I wish I had a, oh, I'll show you guys on my phone. You guys can get a phone view. Oh no, it has a bubble. Okay. Next, I have my creamer. You guys can use any creamer you want, but I'm using this Starbucks non-dairy creamer. It is almond milk and oat milk and it's inspired by the caramel macchiato i literally got the last one from target but they also do have these at bj's and they have them double the size but the one that i got from bj's wasn't dairy free and i prefer dairy free creamer honestly as you guys know coffee is a diuretic and creamer isn't gonna help that it's not so i just shake it up and it has this nozzle so it pours literally perfectly because you just snap it up and it just pours like a regular creamer so i don't od it and honestly if i wanted to just drink it as a drink itself it would taste so good like no creamer or anything i know some people don't like to mix it it looks literally so cute you guys get another camera view i know some people like their coffee straight up black i personally don't i love the flavor i enjoy the flavor mix and it reminds me honestly of the holidays since this is you know a holiday season drink and it's warm it's considered a fall drink because people aren't drinking warm coffee and caramel macchiatos in the fall but i'm also going to show you guys my iced coffee recipe so stay tuned for that so i have my electric tea kettle filled and it's already warm so i'm just gonna pour as much as i want basically although this is eight ounces I'm filling it kind of to the top oh my gosh it's literally so pretty and I'm gonna mix it up and then I'll drink it and it'll be on its way I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit and when I did order this cup I did make sure that it could hold hot liquids it says that it's glass but I honestly kind of don't really think it's glass but it is see-through and it's so cute this is something a definite must-have for the holidays and they had so many other cute little shapes that I'm probably gonna insert so you guys can see but look at it so I'm just gonna give it a quick little stir and I'm literally making a mess it tastes so good it's literally like bringing the coffee shop to your house and I love that I can if my coffee wasn't strong enough I mean I put two shots in it I know my I know my caffeine limits okay but if I wanted it stronger I could literally just add it sometimes once you buy coffee when you're outside and you're drinking it and you're like I really don't taste that punch of the caffeine you can't do anything about it but since you have it right here you can literally add it whenever you want you can have this literally in your lunch bag at work and you see how easy it was you literally just mix it with water any liquid you want so if you wanted a coffee martini you could do that you know it's so easy to mix so now I'm going to show you guys my iced coffee routine. I usually just have iced coffee like in the middle of the day, but since I'm already just sitting here, I'm going to show you guys how I make my iced coffee as well. All right, so this now is the top view of the cup. You guys can see the heart. The bubbles are like cramping my style, not going to lie. But look at it. It's so cute. And then you can see how much you have left. And it'll be super easy to clean, right? I got it. Maybe when the bubbles settle down, I can get you guys a proper picture. 
Okay, so I went and filled my Starbucks thermal with ice, as much ice as I want. These thermals are so effective because my coffee will either stay hot all day or cold all day, especially when I do iced coffee and I like kind of just leave it around and like sip on it every here and again. It's still cold. Like my ice cubes will stay complete. So I filled it kind of like up to right here, so almost halfway with ice and I'm gonna do my one tablespoon of Javi I keep saying tablespoon but I honestly mean teaspoon this is a teaspoon I mean teaspoon when I say that so just one teaspoon because I'm gonna have this a little bit later in the day so it's kind of just gonna be a pick-me-up and I feel iced coffee is so refreshing and I'm going again with the almond milk caramel macchiato and just pouring a little bit I need to see what I'm doing while I do it and I kind of just don't really cover the ice but I make sure that I can kind of see where the creamer stops at in the ice so here's a little view for you guys and I'm taking just this bottled water and like I said, it's super convenient. You just have a bottle of water, but you have your heavy coffee and you just want some coffee, but you don't really have access to water. So maybe if you're traveling or something, you could easily do that. And also, I'm doing this. You can easily use this bottle of water mixed with a little bit of coffee and just keep on pushing. Or like even midday, maybe if you haven't refilled your water filter or something like that. So easy, so convenient, which is absolutely what I love about this. So I'm filling it almost to the top, but not quite. Closing it up and I just shake it just so I can get the creamer, the coffee concentrate, the water all mixed in together. I love this tumbler and I got it in Hawaii. Look at it. It's green and pink. So cute, right? And it goes with my sweater. So shake it up and I'm going to put it in the fridge just to keep it cold because I'm not going to drink it right now. But I will check in with you guys when I am ready to drink it later today. So I'm back. Um, it's about 4.45 right now. I had my original cup of coffee around 10 a.m. That's usually when I have my breakfast. Um, I still had energy, honestly, from my first cup of coffee. But I do plan on staying up late and I kind of need a little energy boost because I am working on some things right now. So I was like, why not? So here it is. As you guys can tell, the ice is still icing, still frozen. It tastes so good. This is only one teaspoon. So it's not like a crazy energy boost that I'm expecting. But I can still taste it and it's still so good. And I think it's because I did only do one teaspoon but also like there's certain coffees so i'm definitely not overdoing it but there are certain coffees that i know that people like feel anxiety or they get jittery because it's too caffeinated and i haven't felt that so far and it's been about two to three weeks now since um since i've originally tried it so yeah i can honestly say that this is good i don't know if it's because i stay within my amended dosage of it um that might be why I'm one of those people that kind of sticks within my limits, especially if it's recommended. But coffee quality is so good, and I love that it's like a really luxury coffee. Like, it, it goes down so smooth. It's not too strong. It's not too overpowering, and I definitely didn't overdo it with the creamer, so I can still taste it. But I love that I can have this luxury right from my home. Like... Imagine how much people spend like every single day a good quality cup of coffee. Like imagine how much that adds up to and this is only about $30, $40 and I make it myself and it's so quick and easy. I absolutely love that. I love the convenience of it all. So yeah, 10 out of 10. Definitely in love and I feel like you guys will definitely like this coffee as well so i'm just gonna be sipping on it for the rest of the day now that's it for today's video let me know down below what is your go-to coffee recipe i absolutely love this coffee and i can't wait to get some more once i run out i honestly feel like this can get you through maybe a month because it does have 
30 servings per bottle, but the subscription program is really great because you can automatically refresh it instead of having to reorder them monthly if that's your thing check out the subscription don't forget to check out that link the discount is automatically applied at checkout and you guys get 15 percent off that's all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time